G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is a Pro Snap Deluxe Camera. It's a thing, and you can take photos with it, but that's not really important right now. This is the handmade to end all handmaids. This is a bloodied handmade with 25% faster fire rate and 25% less VATS action point cost. It really, really doesn't get much better than that. And um, I've been waiting to use this one for ages, so it came out just in time. Well, I got it just in time for to show off the new Scabber paint. It's not actually all that new, but that's what it looks like if you've been wondering. A lot of gold going on here, but the barrel and the stock look rather neglected. If that's not rust, that's blood, which is horribly unhygienic. So you got to clean that up, Winter, all right? And as you can tell, the grip and the stock look pretty good as well, at least the... Uh, the wood there is getting well oiled, I guess. However, you clean up your fucking weapons. Anyways, powerful auto receiver doing 50 damage um, without no perks onto it. And a true long barrel and true stock to tighten up that hip fight accuracy. Stinging magazine. We're not going to be using ground pounder. I don't know why I'm defending that thing. We're not going to be using ground pounder anyway, so tank killer will take its place. We'll tighten up that hit for accuracy with the true barrel, true stock. Stinging magazine gives us a good balance of armor penetration. And also ammo capacity, better than the drum for some reason. Reflex sight for VATS usage. Suppressor is there because I like having the sound of gun silence because it annoys people. Let's go ahead and sp perk this thing up. And we've seen this a few times, so let's just quickly go through this. We chuck on the commando perks because it is an automatic rifle. And of course, bloody mess goes on. Serendipity is there. We've got covert operative evasive. Gonna swap evasive out for, um, oh, fuck this perk controls thing. You're gonna swap that out for Mr. Sandman if it happens to be night, which it is actually, so I can get that 3.7 times damage multiply. 92 damage, that's without Nerd Rage threshold, so to quickly um, recap what that's like. Okay, I read the, the, the time wrong. It was uh, PM instead of AM. Okay. No health bar. We're under 20%, which means we get extra damage and stuff. And we're doing 285, which we've seen before. The main stat I'd like to look at here would be switching. If it was like looking at a weapon in New Vegas, uh, we'd switch over to DPS and that would be massive. But I'm just going to have to show you by killing stuff to see this thing's DPS. Okay, so... Just to give you an idea of how much faster it does fire, I've just got an anti-armor explosive. And for car people listening up, because I'm going to explain it so you guys can understand. This is a Barra. And this is an LS. Trouble is, there's not a whole lot in the game that can stand up to the onslaught of a bloodied handmade rifle. Especially not one with fire rate, so... Yep, all unyielding gear, unyielding gear and specials boosted by that, and also mutations. Pretty good. We've got some competition. He's got a Tesla rifle, so let's just quickly pinch all the kills. And as you can tell, 1700 damage with a headshot there. Very, very nice. Now, what I'm going to do is speed this up even further by just sort of holding position here. And then... Okay, that was an error. Oh, the legendary. Don't let me forget about that. Actually, I'm going to because that'll annoy people. But rather than go around the long way, I think I've killed everything in this general vicinity. So uh, what I'm going to do is... Hang on, that guy's not doing anything. Okay. Off chance he might be realizing it's me and thinking I'm recording. But no, I'm not famous at all. Whatever it is, he's not really interested in staying around or trying to intercept these kills. Oh, tea time's on. That's a perfect time to test out the handmade, right? Because all of the players struggling against low-level creatures like that. Who's left, by the way? I'm still in caution. You know what? I'm going to leave that other super mutant out there. And... T Found him! You see what happens when you throw out the Super Mutant Feng Shui? You get killed from a Super Mutant that you couldn't see because you're always coming from that side and facing dudes in front of the truck and sitting there. So that's what happened there. Probably not the best play I've ever done. And still at damage 60% even though I killed the one guy. 389. Um, that's probably not actually boosted all the way. We'll have another check of that later. And we've got sunglasses today because Winter Osborne is uh, complaining about the dog shitting on the carpet. Okay, we're on again, and I've spotted a legendary super mutant. Just another basic ass legendary with a basic ass bit of kit on him. Don't worry, we'll throw that over to a character who hasn't got a thousand script ready to go. I'm actually nearing the um, thousand script on all five characters, so what I might do is actually when 
when Merman does a little bit of a sale, what I might do is just uh, use it all then so I can just get double the yield or whatever, or a significant better yield, and then probably panic when I'm over capacity on all characters. Yeah, that, that's a plan. Or I could just not play for a few days and just let myself naturally get rid of all of that. Or I could just slow it away because I don't need the script when I've got this thing. What is there left to farm for with a weapon like this? And my answer to that is... Uh... So, moving on to this lot of super mutants. Um, as you can see, my aim is terrible. I've, I've been playing Borderlands 2 and... Winter really doesn't... No, Borderlands 3, actually. Yeah. And, uh, Winter doesn't handle as well as, uh... Mose does? Is it Mose or... No, yeah, it's Mose. What are, what are the names? What kind of name is that? Come on. At least give her a good name, like Bridget. She's already got the Bridget little army streaks across her face. You know what I'm talking about. The ones that reduce glare. You know, I didn't actually realize those things had a purpose. I killed all these people already, didn't I? People. No. But yeah, those little things they put under their eyes reduce glare somehow. I'm guessing it's the same thinking that they saw like raccoons have got kind of like that face mask and the, the blackness around their eyes helps them see- fucking hell. I'm not being punished for my bad play here because my weapon's too good. But yep. You really can't knock this thing, can you? And I'm pretty sure I'm at, at the point of one-shotting, so all of the extra shots that I do are just completely wasteful, so... We're playing this like a semi-auto, except the, um, the cover is in there. And that annoys people about the handmaids, is that whenever you choose an auto-receiver on it, the, that dust cover goes away, which is... I mean, as reliable as AKs are, you, you kind of want that to be covered up, because, well, it protects your weapon from dust, and... You know, would serve a purpose to make the weapon a little bit more durable, at least, if they want to make that into a mechanic. But maybe it'll make the weight go all the way up. I don't even know, but that's a little bit of a thing that probably... The, the people who make those little mods that change around, like, objects... Like, change around 3D objects. I've seen people replace the, um... The pipe suppressors with the... With the, uh... The ones from the lever guns. That's... I'm not going to say that's cheating, but, um, compared to anyone else, if you're aiming down sights using regular, um, iron sights, you're not going to have your aim obscured, so, whoops. Not like anyone's actually going to be using pipe guns in a competitive scenario anyway, and we're all, we're done. So, despite having that extra fire rate, oh, okay, maybe that, okay, maybe it, did I have that extra 60% even though I died? Is that a bug? I don't even know. Okay, time to face the ghouls. It is during the night now, which means we've got a 3.7 times sneak attack multiplier. Also, we're a little bit more injured because I tried um, against the ghouls, and basically what happened was that, and they all kind of detected me, and you know what? I wasn't really doing that. Also, the server lagged out like halfway during the recording. What is making that noise? There must be ghosts in here ghosts of all of the other ghouls that I have slaughtered in the name of science. Okay, we're in danger now, which, as you can tell, not really too worried about. If we all choke point them through here, we should be fine. Now, a lot of, a lot of bloodied handmaids can actually do, unless they've got the fire rate prefix or suffix or something. If they've got the fire rate, then you can get away with not sneaking all the time, but with the sneak attack multipliers as they are, it's really hard not to recommend you play that playstyle, like as you saw just now. So, in other situations where I would have had the game up louder and probably would have heard that guy shambling behind me, it, it's not been a very um, successful run at the ghouls today, and it's not really the weapon's fault, rather it's just me being an idiot. Maybe I'm going too over-aggressive, estimating too much out of this weapon, but when I can pull cut... Hang on, I'm just lagging a bit, okay. Well, you probably saw that before in terms of me shooting thing and waiting like a second for it to actually connect the damage to the ghoul. Yeah, but let's not blame my bad game on lag. There's a ghoul there. Okay, he's dead. So, usually you'd probably go pretty well with this thing against the ghouls because you've got that extra fire rate, you know, helping you out. Unless you get flanked like I did, and if you can just hold them down at one point, well, you're good. You can shove more rounds into it very quickly, and if your aim isn't too great, you'll eventually get them. 
So yeah, there's a lot of benefit to that fire rate, and especially with the bloodied um, prefix onto it, because you get so much more damage. So the time to kill on this without sneaking is really, really damn good. So you don't have to actually worry about sneaking with this all the time, but I like getting that extra damage multiplier, so I shall continue to sneak. Hi, Swan. Bye, Swan. Okay, let's see how fast we can blast through these uh, crabs, eh? And was that a regular named crab? I don't really know. Alright, let's just get Vats to scan something. We'll send a few bullets that way. Let Concentrated Fire quickly pick up the pace. And a quick reload. Not that we'll really need it for the Queen. There she is. Just hold down the trigger. Fun times damage equals handmade rifle. And 389 once more. Very, very nice. Okay, looks like it's time to crush some commie bots. So let's do that. And it should be a pretty fairly easy to run because, well, we've got this thing, so let's go as fast as we possibly can. We'll just go ahead and just vats them. Although I could probably do it quicker with vat uh, without vats because I don't have to worry about, you know, missing if you're too quick on the trigger when pulling off the vat shot. So, yeah, maybe I should just actually aim myself. Don't forget about that one. Speaking... Okay, let's actually aim by myself this time because... I'm out of AP, deliberately so. Have to see how my aim goes. It ain't gonna matter all that much because I'm throwing so much lead out that really there's nothing that can survive this kind of damage and DPS in this game, especially when you're doing the old sneaky thing, which I've had to switch over, so it is daytime now, which sucks. More gun fill action coming up right now. I know they're only low level anglers, but. <laughs> Look how little action points I'm using, and there's a three-star. I wonder what we get from him. This is one of those horde events, and and we've just cleaned up most of them in just a few shots, and ooh, we even get some gorse rifle bullets. Like, I really needed those. Yeah, absolutely decimated, and I'm actually up to second place now. Yay. Okay, time to go cranberry boggin, and we've got... I've only got a couple of trash mob scorch to deal with so far, so uh, what we'll do here is just gather some cheeky adrenaline because there's a disease scorch beast there, which I want to hose down with bats. And we're being shot at right now, which probably means we're detected. Whatever. We'll just keep this vats train going. Yeah. Quick kill. Very fast. Gunfu is exceptionally powerful with this weapon. So here's my plan. This is not the last time we're going to be seeing this weapon. If you're actually interested in how it goes with like a hardened receiver, if I use it like semi-auto, then uh, be, let, be sure to let me know because I don't want to do the old one and done with this weapon because it's simply too awesome. Also, when we get mod support, I'd like to actually um, try to 1v1 the Scorch Beast Queen and all of her health buff with this. I feel like I should go pretty well actually because well, you've, you've just seen how it goes, and, you know, figuring out what was how powerful a bloodied um, fire rate, faster reload um, machine gun, the 50 cal was, against the Queen. I feel like this is going to be even more crazy, because, like I said before, if I do it during the night, I get that 3.5 times multiply, which is... Oh, 3.75 five, five times multiply, which is absolutely huge, but I think I'm going to leave things there. That's kind of the gist of a bloodied fire rate that's cost less handmade rifle. If you'd like to see this game, well, you better shove fucking script in Murmur's face because I ain't giving this up. Never. Never. And before you tell me, before you start lamenting how terrible you, your weapons are, keep in mind that VE Commodores are better than any handmade rifle. Like, if I had to choose between this and my VE Commodore, guess what? This is going into the script bin. Thank you very much for watching, guys.